tell me about the decision to go to North Carolina to school now. You make two choices. One is to go south, mm -hmm. which is very different from what you're used to in Buffalo, and the other is to go to Central as opposed to Shaw. Well, that was it. They're all linked. I was going to be a lawyer. I finally settled on being a lawyer, mm. and I was going to be a civil rights lawyer. Modeled after whom? Who? Who? Well, reading. I read. Of course, we all read a lot. It was. Uh, what did you uh, read? What kind of papers did you get? Besides well, the Buffalo the, paper. The Buffalo. There were two papers in Buffalo. There was the Pittsburgh Courier. Mm -hmm. And it's funny you ask me. There's a Pittsburgh Courier. There was uh, there was a paper in Buffalo even back in those days. The Challenger. The, the Challenger, and no, there was another paper, run by the Merryweathers. I don't know why I can't remember, but my mother wrote for it. Mm -hmm. It was uh, the Merryweathers were a family, a prominent family. The daughters were teachers and judges, and the sons ran the newspaper, the Criterion. Mm -hmm. The Criterion. And we read the quite we read Crisis. Mm -hmm magazine and back in those years I can mm -hmm. still see those crisis magazines and um, listen to the news and uh, my parents discussed what was going on uh, in the country and how who was uh, who was being abused and who stood for civil rights who was a who was a race person mm -hmm. the, the, the phrase back in those days was he's a race yeah. man and so I know that I was influenced by the lawyers at the NAACP and the lawyers in town because, of course, we had lawyers in town. Mm -hmm. And um, Mr. Mahoney and uh, others were friends of my parents. But I decided I wanted to be a lawyer because I was uh, I competed in oratorical contests. I was in the de on the debate team, the only African American on the debate team. I got put off the debate team because I won debates and I was the only black on the team, and the mm -hmm. parents of other children complained mm -hmm. to the school, and they said I was just a freshman, and so freshmen weren't allowed to be on the debate team. The debate teacher didn't agree with it. She gave me A's, but they, I had to get off the debate team because I was the only freshman on the debate team. So I had all of this experience, mm -hmm. hands-on experience, but I need to step back a little. I also in this traveling by myself up and down the road. I also became involved in the High Y organization, which mm -hmm. was a youth and government uh, incubator in New York State, and went to Albany as a delegate from my High Y and was elected speaker of the assembly. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a wonderful experience. And there were three African-American kids in Albany. Francis Cook from Nyack, and a young woman from Brooklyn and me. And uh, I got to be a legislator. So I went to uh, Albany two or three times. And so all of these things, and being around politics, and it all sort of said to me, I want to be involved in this fight having to do with unfairness and inequity and, and injustice. Mm -hmm. So I was going to be a lawyer. Well, I got accepted at... Um, what is now Case Western Reserve. And I was very clear, My father, I had never been south. Mm -hmm. My father would go south every year. He'd make a pilgrimage to Bedford, Virginia, where his sister was, or she was really his cousin, but he'd been raised with his sister. His father died when he was 13. And his uncle and his, and his uncle's wife raised my father along with their children. So he would go to see my aunt, and then he would go to see his uh, half-sister in St. Louis, and I would beg to go with him, and he refused mm. to take me. And he would say, I'm not taking you down there because we will both end up on the end of a rope at the bottom of some tree. I am not taking you. Mm -hmm. So he would never take me. Well, here I was wanting to be a civil rights lawyer, having lived in what was then thought to be the liberated North. Right. I didn't know anything about segregation as it was being experienced in the mm. South. So I decided I wanted to go South to undergraduate school. My parents said that was fine. I wanted to go to Shaw. Shaw was on its heels at that time. Mm -hmm. It was not accredited. And when we got the catalog, my mother says, you're not going to Shaw. And we then went back to the catalog of colleges and universities. And she said, well, if you want to be in North Carolina, North Carolina Central, it was North Carolina College, then, mm -hmm. is accredited A. My friend, Helen Edmonds, my classmate from St. Paul, is on the faculty mm -hmm. there. 
I'll call up Helen. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you'll go. So she called up. That's what, the, that's what you call being connected. Oh, right. Uh, we, she called Dr. Edmonds, and people, you know, you know, I always take the opportunity to say that uh, Helen Edmonds was one of the first women, first African Americans, to be a delegate to the United Nations. Mm -hmm. She was a Republican and just a marvelous historian, and I knew her for the rest of my life. But my mother called up Helen Edmonds and said, I'm sending Yvonne down there to school. And she said, to have her come on. She can major in history. Uh -huh. And so I majored in political science and history and went to North Carolina Central. Mm -hmm. I was going to be a lawyer still. I went on to the law school because I finished my coursework early. And so I took several courses in the law school. But then I got the Fulbright Fellowship. 